Many parents spend countless hours planning and coordinating their children's summer, juggling camps with vacation. But for some kids, camp is vacation, especially if they attend Camp Barnes in Frankfurt. Initially a camp for troubled kids, it's now a place to give underprivileged kids from all over the state a summertime experience they'll never forget. <laughs> These kids probably have no idea that they are helping carry on a nearly 70-year tradition, a tradition that was started by this man's father. My father came up with the idea in 1947 after talking to uh, Earl Morgan from Newark, New Jersey, that he met in FBI school. His father, Herbert Barnes Sr., pitched the idea at a police chief's association meeting, and it didn't take long for them to undertake a project to combat juvenile delinquency in the first state. And they put up $10,000. And I think uh, Francis DuPont gave Dad 35000 because he was friends. Francis DuPont was a highway commissioner. 13 acres of state-owned land located on Miller's Creek near Frankfurt was set aside for the camp. The state of Delaware created a 99-year lease at a dollar a year. Barnes says it was perfect for giving children an outdoor experience like no other. Preparing land was a community effort. Cabins for the campers were made from old WPA barracks. And they cut them in sections and brought them down here. And they were the first cabins down here. And the way I understand it, there was no road here. So the farmers, they helped all the local farmers, uh, they helped clear the land for this uh, camp. <laughs> Barnes says about a thousand kids go through this camp each summer. The overnight residential camp is run by the Delaware State Police and is open to children at no cost to the camper or family. All children are eligible to attend regardless of family income. There's a lot of uh, children pass through this camp and the only people that get a salary here are the uh, cooks and the counselors. And a lot of the counselors uh, come back every year. We have 12 counselors. Corporal Sean Hatfield is director of Camp Barnes. He says the campers come from all over the state. There are kids between ages 10 to 13. They have to be a resident of the state of Delaware, and they come from inner city Wilmington all the way to Gumboro. During the week, campers get to participate in several activities. Kids arrive Monday morning. Uh, they stay four nights, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They go home Friday afternoon. Uh, there's various activities, kayaking, swimming, hiking, uh, basketball, lacrosse, uh, field hockey, uh, arts and crafts, and even have like, a joke night for the boys and a uh, girls' talent show for the girls' weeks. And for many of these children, this is summer vacation. They don't get to go to Disney World, they don't go to Myrtle Beach, they don't go to Rehoboth and Ocean City. This is their vacation, so the counselors and the staff we try to instill in them that this is their week vacation for the summer, and we try to get it so that it's a memory that'll, that'll last for years. They get three square meals a day while they're here. They have a swimming pool. Right now they're playing games over in the field. Uh, they have canoes. They have a bonfire. They have a movie. And uh, I bring popcorn down every Tuesday for them for the movie. <laughs> so. Camp Barnes is run solely on donations and state grants, so for now it's limited to 60 kids a week for six weeks each summer. Eventually we'd like to grow and uh, add more kids, but at this time with the budget we have to stay right where we're at. And with several decades of accommodating children, it appears they're doing something right here. Barnes says it makes him proud to see his father's legacy live on. And it does me good because I, I just I enjoy seeing them get out. And, and there's kids here that this is their only vacation. This is all they get. As for Hatfield, he says it's the best job you could possibly have. I mean, I get to interact with kids, which is part of what I wanted to do in the state police, work with the youth. And you're with them every day, and you see the impact that the counselors make on them and the troopers who are down here make on the kids. And it's memories that these kids will have for a lifetime and hopefully will pass on to their kids. And that's why it's been going since 1947. Camp Barnes is also used by 4-H, the Stokely Center, the Delaware Burn Camp, and the Special Olympics. And as you just heard, the camp is sponsored by the Delaware State Police, and it's first come, first serve. So they open up applications in March. Is there an age limit? <laughs> yes, there is, unfortunately, oh, Jerry. Right. <laughs> well, maybe you're applying for a job but thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could learn a trade and do 